Hello, I'm Esther from the Galloway and Southern Ayrshire Biosphere and with me is Nick from the uh, Galloway Glens Project and we're going to have a lovely walk around the Donald Watson's Arts Trail that starts here in Dalry. The um, Biosphere would like to use this art trail as part of the Spring Fling experiences. Well, I met Esther and you're going to join us on a little walk around the Watson Trails today looking at the landscape that inspired Watson. Yeah. Um, I think one of the things people should take away from this is not just the art, yeah. in terms of the art, so the, the landscapes that Watson painted and reflect upon the change between the 50s, 60s and 70s when he was painting mm. and what we have now mm -hmm. and maybe some thoughts as to how you want it to be in the future. Yeah, yeah it has changed quite a bit hasn't it? I mean it's, it's just, just incredible. Yeah, land use change is something which um, it happens at a rapid pace, but not so rapid that we don't get used to it very quickly. So I think it's really important to have a look at that going backwards in time and seeing what it was like and then going back and forwards as well. But just before we go, I'll just very quickly bring your attention to this church that's behind us here. This is the uh, Dalry Church, and for another project in Dalry, this is really important with the, the, the explanation of the Coventry Times. And behind you, just there, is a, a, a grim stone yeah. which has a number of people who are executed buried under it. I won't say too much more. I think you should just come to the Daldry Church and read the signs yeah. and, and the town hall, yeah. and they'll tell you all about what's going on yeah. during a very dark period of Scotland's history. Isn't it funny as you get older? Uh, well, I found this for myself that you're Maybe sometimes the creativity you didn't realise you had starts coming out and through this pretty dark period we've been through I found quite a lot of solace in making things yeah, and I, I really, really, I, I mean, for me, it's it's very, very important. I mean, it's not just the recording of things that I see, but it also gives you a different angle, but just a different thinking process. And obviously with Spring Fling, it's, it's just obviously the highlight when everything sort of culminates. The, you know, the artists show their work and you see how they are creative. Right, I absolutely love the countryside here. Um, it's it's so inspiring. I mean, today the the light is just wonderful, you know. It's, uh, and and it's sort of you almost can hear spring as well, and and it's so important to record what you have around because a it's because it's changing as we have seen with Donald Watson, and b you you get an emotional connection to the landscape. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't really matter how good or bad you are, but it, it's that act of observing. And that's what I what I find important. Everybody does it in a different way. And I just do do this, the sketching, you know, what's what's there. Some some I, I love some sort of architecture because it gives scale. Um, others I just really hone in into um sort of plans or whatever people whatever is around everybody got their own style so that's picking up i guess you pick it with bold lines aren't you in yep. this and that's giving you the structure yeah it, it, it just gives you the the substance i mean the the actual uh, sort of dimensions will come with the color so Well, Esther, I was so keen to take you up here, and it's stunning, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. And you've got a lot came out there in the distance, and, the, and it's been so wet recently, that floodplain is nice and active and, and glowing. And then we'll pan around with the camera in a minute, but you've got the whole sort of like landscape of Carnsworth, Cairnsworth Fleet, and up into the, the, the Rins, etc. It's just... And, it, and how far is this from Dalry? Well, uh, we have chatted a lot, so in terms of time, it's probably not not 15, <laughs> the normal. Fifteen minutes walking. <laughs> but it's a really, really. I mean, it's just down there, and it's not that strenuous. It's you know really, really good and easy to walk up here, and you have got this amazing view. It's absolutely stunning. And the, the wildlife we're seeing from up here. So in the distance, we've got the uh, skis of geese floating around in the valley. And, and the you know skylarks, skylarks everywhere displaying you know that that, that is just really does it for you doesn't it yeah I think, yeah we'll we'll speak about this later but 
I think the Watson Trail here is just shows a simple thing yeah. how you can then use it. And I think you're going to maybe doodle something now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I will. You know, I see already something. I will. I will doodle. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you get doodling. I get doodling, and then we can talk more about this this amazing landscape. But what what a trail! What an inspiration! This this is. And this I, is all. This is all what uh, Donald would have been painting. So it's yeah. very much get into the mindset of. What was he painting? Yeah. What would we paint now? Yeah. What would you like to paint in the future? How would you like this landscape to be? Yeah, I mean, in this point, you know, and this is what happens with the with Donald Watson as well. It was recording um, as much as you know being inspired by, yep. and and this is what happens. Um, yeah. So let's see what I can record today. This day when the biosphere, the Watson Arts Trail, and Spring Fling all get together, when is it, and how do you get involved? Right, it will be on the 2nd of June, so it will be the Thursday. Um, you find out about this um, on the Spring Fling website and obviously through our channels from, from the Biosphere. But I also actually want to, to, to say this is, this is an amazing thing what we, what we put together because you, you see the exhibition about Donald Watson's work at by McClellan, the, the Smitty, this is where you meet, and then you've got the walk with a fantastic guy called Roger Croft who really knows the area. Oh, that was... As I said, a fantastic view. Ah, <laughs> it's, it's just how amazing was that? I just see the landscape stretched out oh, just, um, and, around you. Oh, and and, and the, the, the snow on the hills today, yeah. it's, it's just the absolute glow. I really just, looking forward to seeing how you pick that up in that, in that sketch. Oh, well, uh, yeah. There's not so many strong lines, but you've got a lock there. Yeah. Um, sort of in the distance. <laughs> and and the, the boldness of the hills around them is fantastic. Yeah. 